big long star They just turn and people go Hey everybody, Peyton and I are getting ready to do our Tex-Mex Taco Uppercut Crack Pot Mac and Cheese. I dare you say that a hundred times. Okay, so we are a part of an awesome group for Cracktober with Vicki Wright. Be sure to follow her YouTube channel and all the other awesome cooks and moms that are a part of the Cracktober. So let's get started, okay? So we decided to use Taco Uppercut seasoning as the base for our mac and cheese in the crock pot. The reason why we did this is because Peyton is an autistic adult and he is the brand ambassador for White Bull's Barbecue Taco Uppercut. And we are always looking for awesome recipes. So here is ours. Okay, we're gonna start with a little bit of butter that we're gonna put at the bottom of the crock pot just to get it Peyton's going to push it around in there so that it kind of coats the whole bottom of the crock pot. Okay, and then we'll let that kind of melt. Okay. Now, let's put in our whole 16 ounces of macaroni. Okay. Now, now you're going to put the 12 ounces of evaporated milk. Okay, he's going to stir that around a little bit. Okay, now he's going to add the small, we have cut up two tomatoes, and he's going to put the smaller one of the two into it. Okay, now he's going to put in the two and a half teaspoons of taco uppercut, I mean tablespoon, sorry, of taco uppercut, put it all around. Now he's going to stir that up so that it's well mixed everywhere. Got to really mix it good, okay, because you don't want the taco uppercut just in one area, so he's going to really stir that good. All right, now he's gonna add in two and a half cups of whole milk. Okay, stirring that again. We're, the reason why we stir a lot through it is so that we make sure all of our flavors are mixed together well. Okay, now he's gonna add in this bowl of Mexican style cheese. We bought this in a bag from HEB, but your, probably your local grocery store has it too. It's a Mexican blend. Okay, now he's gonna mix that really good. Cause now you can see the cheese is all on top and, Oops. and it's not real easy to do this. So Peyton, be careful, okay? Yeah, uh-huh. So mix, put the spoon all the way down into the bottom so that you get it all really mixed up. Okay, so as you can see, he's really mixing it good. We'll mix it while we're also, after it starts melting a little bit. But if you go take your scoop all the way to the bottom of, the, of your crack pot, you really mix that way. You pull it to the top too, see? The reason why we put the cheese in at the end is so that the cheese doesn't stick to the bottom as much. It makes, it helps the macaroni cook better. Okay, and now he's gonna add the last bit of tomato all across it, see? He'll mix that in. And then what you wanna make sure that you do is mix it all really good, and then you're gonna put it on there for low, low, for an hour. After you've had it going for about five or 10 minutes, you're gonna to wanna to take the rest of your butter and pour it on the top. And then you're gonna mix that in around it for the creaminess. 
sure the butter gets in. And there you go. At the 30 minute mark, take and put another two tablespoons of taco uppercut seasoning and stir it really well into it. See how Peyton's really stirring it? Okay, so stir it down into it, the whole thing, and then let it cook for another 30 to 45 minutes. When you are adding your um, extra taco uppercut and doing a really good stir, also make sure that you turn it up to high for the last 30 minutes. If it's not quite ready when you get to the end, check it during that 30 minutes once in a while. If it's not quite ready, then you can leave it just go a little bit longer. But since the pasta is uncooked, put it onto high for the last 30 minutes. You can do the last 20 minutes if you want, but I prefer 30 minutes. And we are done with our awesome taco uppercut Cracktober mac and cheese. So we're gonna go ahead and scoop it out. This is an amazing recipe, really easy to make, tastes delicious, and it's so good for those fall nights. You can have it as in addition to food, such as a side dish of hamburgers, hot dogs, you can have it as a side dish to brisket. You can even, if you have leftover brisket, throw the brisket in with it if you want. But it's a really good hearty mac and cheese. So don't forget to follow Vicki Wright and look at all the different recipes on Cracktober. I absolutely love this. Peyton and I were so honored to be a part of it. And there's so many good recipes on there. You need to follow everybody who submitted onto Vicki Wright's Cracktober. So, and make sure you follow Team Awesomeism Virtual Academy and Awesomeism Mom. So let's scoop it out, Peyton. It's kind of thick and creamy, so you're gonna have some cheese that's gonna really stick out, but that's okay. And there you go. You've got yourself a really good, hearty mac and cheese. Thank you all for watching. Head over and follow Vicki Wright and all the other moms and Awesome is a Mom and Team Awesome is. And thank you so much for having us be a part of the awesome Cracktober.